Vito, 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 Mercedes Vito, 2009. In bits. I know, and it's all it is, is the bloody water pump. And this is it. This is the water pump behind the viscous fan. This is a viscous fan, okay? So this turns separate to that, so. And the belt on this is about a meter and a half long, and it goes around this and around that, and then I, don't be scared of that. This is the pump behind, so you've got one, two, three, four, it's quite about eight screws. This is the bottom hose on that one, you have to do the top hose has to come off. They said you couldn't get to it unless you take the whole front end off. We've managed to get to it without taking the whole, whole front end off. Um, take the bumper off, didn't you? So we've left the... Yeah, you take, take the bumper off first. We've left the radiator intact. Undone the small top hose, the big top hose at the, at the bottom here. You've got to undo the two at the bottom too to get the to drain the system anyway, so those two have got to come off. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not an expert. Do not take this as like, oh, this is the way you do it. You are a mechanic. Yeah, well, this is the way I'm doing it. You just haven't done it lately. No. So you can lift this. You have to do, there's a couple of big bolts down here, this one. These type. So there's two big ones, one at the top and one at the side here that hold it in. You've got your two at the top here. You've got to take your headlamps off, both sides. Don't get scared, just do it. Take the headlamps off. They're held in with four screws, four bolts. Yeah, they're in the back. Headlamps are in the back, okay? And then, once you've undone them, undone them, you can actually physically move the sort of radiator separate to this. Because I was told this has to come off, and I thought, are you joking me? I can't be bothered with all that rubbish. So then you can lift all this, this lifts forward. You see, watch, I'll show you. You see? There you go, that. How big is this water pump? That's it, that's it, it's like there. It's the most awkward, shitty thing you could do. Hey, can I but look, to beat that watch, pace. hey, well, look. Okay, this comes forward. A bit right? of play there. So what I'm doing just holding it between that and the uh, power steering. That's all I'm going to do. But I haven't You're got... You're doing it a bit at a time, aren't you? Yeah, this is an 8mm star and I haven't got one. So I'm just going to get me one tomorrow. Uh, it's got... So it's got the viscous fan connected to it, which is okay. It's leaking at the back and it's got one pulley. And that's it. But all this to come off for that. So of course you have to take your induction unit off and your air filter. It's pretty straightforward, it just fits onto these rubbers. That's pretty straightforward as well. So it's not that bad. I will do a vid. Put it back together. Put it back together. And I'll show you how, because that might be the more tricky bit. Taking it apart, you just take on screws. So yeah, for it's not if you look in here, I'll show you some of the parts, okay? You've got, you've got a couple of headlamps that are passive. Your vistas fanks them off, I've got to get it separate. But in theory, the amount of bolts we've took off is there. There ain't many, so it's not too bad. A couple of screws I put back into not the headlamp, but in the. It's always nice to, if you're not too sure, you don't want to lose any, so I put them back in here. It doesn't make much sense, does it? Yeah. yeah it just fine. shows you what a job it is. So, so I put the screws back where I found them. Two. So there's two there, there's two inside. I just know I've got one of these brains that just remembers rubbish like this. 3D jigsaw, isn't it? Yeah, I can't spell. I can write just about. I'm joking. You can talk for England. Yeah. But there you go. So, yeah. It's not an impossible task, it's just... Over... You've been putting it off and putting it off, uh, haven't it's you? It's overwhelming. The only thing is, I went skiing, knackered my knee a little bit. So getting up and down on the floor. So I asked my lad, because he is a qualified mechanic, just take the bumper off for me, I can do the rest. So he has. So he just dropped the bumper off just a couple of screws and they were just um, starred screws as well. It's pretty straightforward once you get into it. I've ordered the pump off eBay. I'll leave a link in the description 40 below where pound. I got the 40, yeah, 44 pound, that was it. These are it's all right. the labour though, That's isn't it? That's all right. There's no labour because it's me and I'm free. I'll show you this part of the fan, so you can see not the belt, a viscous, a viscous belt it's called, is it? I don't know. So just so you can see the way it goes, and I'm doing it for myself as well. So, alternator comes up over the top, keep coming over the top, over the top, over the top, and that's the uh, power steering pump down underneath that one, and then you think, oh, it goes up, no it doesn't comes back under the crank okay 
around the back of the crank over that's the tensioner over the tensioner down again and there we go don't forget which I made a mistake as well when you're using the tensioner put the socket on before you uh, and yeah put the belt round the tensioner and then put the socket on the tensioner I mean leave one of the other cogs free to get the hibiscus fan off I use this which is a small pointy chisel between two nuts can you see that yeah then I used a socket just the end of an ordinary socket well an extension bar put it over the top Okay, push down, and there we go, look. Woohoo, I've been trying for an hour. <laughs> so I thought I need something thin enough to jam, so I thought, oh, I'll do. So just between, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt it. It, it. it didn't take a lot of pressure to get it off. Okay, and then I can get to the two nuts, the three nuts on the pulley. Then I'll take the, I'll take the belt off first. No, I'll probably undo them first. I'll need the screws first. Then I'll undo the tensioner, then take the belt off, and that gives me then access to the water pump behind okay catch you in the next vid well no not in the next vid catch you in the next update sorry also i'm very lucky that my son works as a mechanic but i'm doing it myself so this is a nice little handy tool it does make life a lot easier make sure you get it in don't damage the thread look at that it's so heavily Last one, sorry, not in the video. There we go, they're not in that far. Well, pretty much out the way, I don't want to drop him. And then I'll undo the belt. I'll show you that as well, two seconds. If I can film it at the same time by holding it. Mm -hmm. Put that there. So this is holding the main one forward the tensioner is just underneath here can you see that just there underneath the tension wheel so pull it forward sorry folks i'm gonna have to put the phone down but i've untensioned the belt well i'll try and do it there's another that's a pulley there that's got to come off so you can get to the screws behind here of course look that's easy uh it's fixed onto that um, i think that's the power steering is it the oil, the oil, I think it's the oil filter. Pop the cap off with the screwdriver. Bum bum, bum. Bring it out the way. Another torque driver, a star drive. Easy, absolutely easy. And off it comes. Sorry, there we go. Put it nice. I'm going to put it on the right hand side of the vehicle because I've got one here as well, which is on the left hand side. Oh, it's actually connected to the water pump. So, where are we? I'm going to put in this side. I've got another torque driver, which is really handy to have. Thanks to my lad. Makes life a lot easier. Ooh, that's a bit tight. I think the battery. I think the battery's going. I'm going to use an ordinary torque on that one. I don't want to damage his uh, nice bit of kit. Anyway, that's going to come off. Then you'll have access to all the uh, all the nuts then, all the star bolts, should I say? Okay, so I can get you the ones you have to undo. Let's have a look. So here's the. You've got. Oh, I can't see any other. Two at the bottom. Those two dirty buggers. That one. Come along under these pump. That one. You've got different sizes as well. So you've got 12s and 8s, I think, or 10s. Let's have a look. So you've got there, you've got E11 and E12. Okay, and then okay, the pump. Then the pump's free. Oh, got that. Sorry. There you go. Pump looks nice on the inside. Look at that. Anyway, just to confirm that all the long bolts are the same. Just 
to get that in there and all the short bolts the same so when you take them out don't panic i took mine out thinking what then so yeah they can only go and they can only fit the big ones can't fit in the smaller holes okay so i'll just give you a rough idea on that same about my feet and there you go pump off i hope this bloody leaks well i think it does anyway it must have there's nothing else i can find there's no pipes are leaking so right so next will be put it all back together that'll be fun okay a bit of an update sorry i've just had a i've had no one to give me a hand so um put the water pump back on that is pretty straightforward um i used a little tiny tiny amount of gasket glue to glue the gasket to the actual um u water pump only a little bit no glue on the other side uh tighten them up to 14 newton meters so really it's just hand tight put the belt back on if you can see that that's pretty straightforward so like i said over the top follow it round follow it round down i bought a new belt not worth taking a chance after you take all this apart it's it's not worth it and that's where we are so i'm now going to I put the fiscus fan uh, cover back on four screws um the two tensioners are back on pretty straightforward uh, lock them down pretty tight two little covers to go back on i've got them now i'll put them on that's straightforward just keep them nice and clean there we go easy i just reassemble now uh, fan back on yeah i've got the air ducts at the moment all the radiators back on now i've got to put these bolts back in here it fits all this back on it's pretty straightforward it's just a bloody pain in the ass that you have to take all the headlamps all the front off but anyway usually you have to take all this off but we got away with it all right so everything's going to go back in reverse i hope you enjoyed the vid even though it was a little bit well i don't know first i've done one of these anyway um take care thumbs up would be great like subscribe share catch you in the next vid bye